Shalom lekulam. Here we are from our small apartment. Really small. In Sur Hadassah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's but really that's, small. that's going to change. Mm -hmm. So we want to share some exciting news and also encourage many of you out there. In the midst of all this chaos, the Lord was so good and faithful to us that he says, I'm going to make a way where it seems to be no way. And I'm going to make the crooked ways straight. And so I thought, okay, Lord, how are you going to do this? So this is what happened. It was the first week of February. It was mm -hmm. one night. I woke up at three o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning and I was so restless. Yes. And I cried to the Lord and the Holy Spirit told me a change is coming. Big change. At that time, I didn't know mm -hmm. that the coronavirus mm -hmm. would be so right. huge thing. I just thought something for us regarding home, meaning house and work. Yeah. So the next morning I told my beloved, we are moving. We are moving to the north. Uh, needless to say, I started panicking, okay? <laughs> and I think the Lord just goes, oh, here she goes again. Okay, here she goes again. But it was like, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? But the Lord was so gracious to us because he let us ponder it mm -hmm. and really pray into it. And so the only way we could do it, I, it's like I said to Noam, oh my gosh, what if you were the public relations for Sorrow Tours up in the Galilee? Now, that's, that's asking big. You know, that was really asking big. And God was so faithful to us because um, Samuel Smudja, who is the owner of Sorrow Tours and Conferences, mm -hmm. an incredible brother in the Lord. Yes. Um, he okayed it. Uri okayed it. David Katz okayed it. Yael encouraged us um, to go forth. And we looked at each other and said, okay. oh my gosh, we're going to the north, just as the Lord had told Noam. And I was panicked. Okay, I was totally panicked. So so once we could mm -hmm. get out of the house, mm -hmm. it was, uh, I think it was a memorial day for yeah. the Holocaust, I think. Right. We managed to get out of the house to the north. Went up with our friends. Yes, and we checked about 10 places. Mm -hmm. And the last one was the one that we fell in love. And I'm going to tell you something. When we walked in, I felt like the Lord was waiting for us. Like, what took you so long? I've been waiting here for you. I felt at home, and we didn't know how we were going to do it. But the owner, she felt the same way about us. And there were actually, what, three other people or two other people yes. uh, that wanted to rent it. But things were falling through. But when she saw us, she knew we had, we were the ones. We were the ones. And today, we went up the north and we signed the contract. So we're moving to the Galilee. Next month. We are moving to the Galilee. And I find it interesting that we signed um, the contract today, uh, May 14th, which is uh, the celebration of Israel. And um, even though it changes. Yes, it changes every year because mm -hmm. it's a Jewish calendar. Right. But the Gregorian calendar yeah. is the 14th of May. 1948. Yes. <laughs> so we are so, um, we're overwhelmed with the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Uh, he he's, was merciful to us and we bless our tours. We bless them. Yes. And you guys, seriously, you plan on coming to a trip? I'm telling you. It's a spirit of excellence. Right. It's a spirit of excellence on Sorel Tours. Everyone gives their most and their best. Mm -hmm. No one will be representative. I will come in and out. You know, <laughs> For special, special projects. Special projects. I will come in and out. But it's, it's so wonderful to be a husband and wife, a team, and to represent such a godly um, company. Yes. So... Thank you, Lord. We are so grateful for the Lord that he showed us a way out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we were actually suffering here because of all kinds of issues. Dogs, <laughs> dogs, and dogs. Yes, and so really the Lord set mm -hmm. us free mm -hmm. and showed us the way through the wilderness to the promised yeah. land, you know, to the abs promised absolutely. area in the north. No, it's so peaceful. We just know at the land of Zebulon and Naphtali, <laughs> we just felt the, the peace of God. And yeah. we know it's a, it's a new chapter in our lives and we want you all to be a part of it. Uh, I, I love the Facebook family. You know, people say, well, you don't really know people. Well, I feel like yeah, we do. 
because we correspond right. and we we know that you're watching us and it just makes the family so full of what the Lord has. Right, and like what we taught before about the Exodus, that the Lord is setting you free yeah. to go another direction. For mm -hmm. us, it literally happened. It literally happened. Literally happened. And, and I was a little scared. I was a little panicked at the beginning. But it's a good thing I have a husband that says, watch and see what the Lord is going to right. do. Right, sometimes I'm useful. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Those of you who watch this video know without him, oh my word, I don't know where I'd be. So we love you guys and we're so excited. And so oh. when you come to Israel, yes. uh, and obviously you're going to come through Sorrel Tours. I mean, it's not obviously. a question. Yes. Um, guess whose handsome face will be greeting you in the Galilee? I will slip in every once in a while, <laughs> but we're excited and we just yes. thank again. Um, thank you for your support yeah. and also for and being with us. Yes, really. And your so prayers. we bless you. We yes. bless you with patience, because we feel now, like okay. we said, there is much resistance. Yeah. That many people want to be set free, but to need to wait. Yeah. And like we need to wait one more month, even though we want to leave right. tomorrow. Right. But it's still. More patience, savlanut, remember? Sevel, mm, suffering. That's a tough one for me. It's tough only, one. yes, but it's only when we suffer that yeah. you really develop patience. Yeah, it's a tough one because yes. I want everything to just to open wide. And, and I, I feel in our spirit that the Lord is just really hearing the cries of all his people. Yes. And we love you and thank you for your prayers and your love. And, thank you, and Lord. just, I mean, it's like, we have a family. Mm -hmm. um, right. We may never meet, but you're all our family. Yes. Amen. So blessing from Jerusalem. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.